Hey everybody, this is Bob from EdTechify, and today we're going to talk about the new Glide Action webhooks. So if you're not familiar with the webhook, basically all it is is a URL that's going to talk from one app to another app. And so Glide now provides you with a Glide webhook that will let you pass information from Glide to some other service. And so our demo for today will be passing this information from Glide to Integromat. If you're not familiar with Integromat, Integromat is an alternative or a competitor to Zapier, which lets you connect app to app to do different automation across the web, right? And so once I get the information from Glide into Integromat, I can do with it what I will. And for our cases today, we're going to send a simple email to ourselves with this information. And imagine you can then take this information and do whatever you want with it. But just to verify that information is actually coming through, we'll send an email to ourselves and that's going to be our hook. All right. So um, here I have a, an app and this is going to be a, just a personal my card, business card kind of app. And I want to send this information, who I am, where I work, maybe my contact card and my image in an email to myself. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to components and we're going to add in a button. And this button, uh, we can name it whatever we want. I'm going to say um, email self. <laughs> Real original. Okay, let me the period. All right, so under features, we're not going to open up a link. Instead, we're going to go to this new action called webhook. And you see that the webhook requires a couple of things. Um, you see right now it says none, but I can go ahead and add a new webhook. And we're going to give it some sort of name to recognize it. I'm going to say Integromat, since that's where I'm sending it. There might be a better uh, schema or or template maybe you should use. Um, I'll let Glide speak on that. But uh, so I'll say Integromat and I'll say send self email. That way I know exactly where it's going and what it's doing. Now this URL, this is gonna be the URL of Integromat. So we need to go to that platform that's gonna accept the information and uh, generate that URL that Glide's gonna send the information to. All right, so here I'm going to go to Integromat. I've already signed in. And in Integromat, you create scenarios. In Zapier, you create zaps. So we're going to create a scenario in Integromat. And when you do so, it's going to uh, prompt you for which services you want to integrate. And we're going to do three services, even though there's only two apps. Uh, the first thing we're going to integrate is Glide. And Glide is, again, accepting that webhook. So we're going to say webhook. And we see that Integromat has a webhooks module, which is awesome. The next thing we're going to uh, connect this to is Gmail. So we'll say Gmail. And lastly, we are going to um, pass along the image and maybe a couple files from Glide into the email. And everything in Glide right now is saved as a, as a link, right? Whenever I upload an image or a video or a file, those are all URLs on Glide side. So we want to take those URLs and convert them into a file that we can attach to the email. So to do that, we use this HTTP module as a go-between. And I'll show you how to configure that as well. Great. So we're going to hit continue. And it is prompting us now to set up our first module. So we're going to choose webhooks as our first module. And from here, we're going to go and set up a custom webhook. All right. And uh, you probably don't have any webhooks in here yet. So we're going to add a new webhook. We can call it whatever we want. I'll say glide app. And um, under show advanced settings, we are also going to get the request headers. Um, this will allow us to uh, also get in uh, some password and authentication for filtering purposes later. Great. Well, let's save. And as soon as you hit save, we now have an Integromat hook URL. And you guessed it, we're going to copy this and come back over here to our app and paste it into the URL field of our webhook action. Save. Let it do its thing. All right, so now we have um, this action, this webhook action, attached to that Integromat URL module. And this is the password we can use for filtering purposes um, in order to verify that the information we're sending into Integromat is indeed coming from Glide and not coming from some other platform that hacked into our Integromat account or something. 
All right, then last thing here is these values. And these are the values you wanna pass from whatever screen you're on to Integromat. And so maybe I wanna pass my name, my title, my school, my image, my uh, V card. So let's add all of those things. So I'm gonna add a value. Name is name, great. Add a value and we'll do uh, our maybe my role. I'm gonna pass along my school. I'm gonna pass along my image. And maybe I'll pass along my V card. All right. All right, so these are all of the things. And now we need to make sure that our Integromat can indeed accept um, or is listening to um, this button push, right? So when I push this button, this information is going to get sent to this webhook in Integromat. And so you see right here um, this little circling stop button. Uh, it says here that Integromat is now listening for the data. And so all we have to in, we have to initiate this, which is that button push, to send the data to the webhook. All right. So all we have to do is come over here to Glide, hit email self, and we should see ah successfully determined. Excellent. So in all, um, which is that's that's great. So now we actually have um, our data being mapped within this webhook component. All right, and so now we can take this and pass it along to any app we choose, right? In this case, we'll just do Gmail for simplicity sake. So I'm going to add another module, and I'm going to skip the HTTP just for a second, just so you see the difference. And let's go straight to Gmail, and we're going to send an email, all right? And again, we, this connection, this is going to be uh, your Google connection. So if you have not yet set up your connection to Google, you have to do that here add right and I've already added mine so that's why you see it's got my email address in there and here I can now uh, configure my email right so my two under email address look this is the school the role the name the image and the v card from our glide app how cool is that uh, you also see some other fields that got sent from glide as well All right the timestamp is the timestamp that we push that button um, the app ID is the ID of our app that was being sent from right um, the hook kind would be a, a string, right? Or it's going to be a, a webhook action. And you see under here, under headers, um, we should also have the ability to see our uh, our keys, this indemnity key and so forth. Um, in our case, we're just going to go ahead and uh, send this information here. Now, did I grab my email? I didn't. School, role, name, image, and you got Well, I need to know the email address, don't I? All right, so I'm going to come back over here to my webhook and I have to redetermine my data structure. All right, so I need one more thing here, don't I? I need my email. So I'm gonna add a value, and I'm gonna get my current user's email address. Really, I should choose, I guess, this email. All right, so email. All right, let's push the button again. And we should see a green check mark. Okay. Email. There it is, email, okay. Now, um, you see when I hover over this email, it says it's a collection, and that's because this email actually contains a couple of values. I can't just click this and get this params email because this is not the actual email address. This is like the JSON uh, email array. So I have to click into this and actually get the email value. That's going to be my Robert Dapetito, right? Because this type is going to be a type string, I believe. So I need the value. So we see params, email, value, add. And then for subject, we can call this whatever we want. Um, I could say uh, information from, or I can say maybe my name, not just the param name, I need the value, parentheses S, information, awesome. Okay, so the content, here's where we can uh, craft our email and again you said you can use html tags which is cool so i could say um I, i'm going to be very very basic here i'm going to say just our name so the name value then i have to use html tags like a break and then i'll do my role maybe my role comes afterwards so comma space role value then the break um, and then my school, maybe I don't want, maybe I want that bolded, right? So I can use some HTML tags for bold, not break, like that. 
then my school value break break and then um, maybe I want an image so I can do a couple things either I can I could use some HTML to insert the image into there. I could do something like image src equals, and then my image value, this should work like this. All right, so that could work, um, or we can make that an attachment later. I'll try both. All right. Uh, scroll down so you see attachments. Um, I can't just say add an attachment and then put in the, uh, the image URL because it's a URL. You can't attach a URL to an email. You need to attach a file to a URL. So we'll come back to this in just a minute. But I'm going to hit OK. And now watch this. I'm going to run once. All right. So now it's waiting for this, some data. So I'm going to come over here and email self. Boom. Right, I should see it go through. I get that it was completed. All right, I'm going to check my email, and I should see that email in my inbox. Look at that. All right, let's get rid of this. Look at Robert Patillo's information. I click in here, and look at that. How cool is that? Woo! All right, so maybe I want to attach this image instead, or maybe I want to attach my V card. Right. So to do that, we need that third module that goes in between here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a module, and this is the HTTP module, this one here. And we're going to get a file. So basically what this, this does, it converts a URL or some sort of information into the actual file type so then we can pass the file type along. I'm going to connect automatically. All right, so let's, let's expand my modules here. All right, so I need to remove, I need to unlink this, and so I need to, un I need to link those together. Oh, I need to unlink these. No, that's right, I guess I want, I want that. Let's zoom out a bit. Okay. All right, so now it's asking for the file, right? Um, so the URL here, I'm going to say, okay, if I wanted the image to attach, I can do the image value, but let's attach actually my V card. So I'm going to do uh, this value of my V card. Hit OK. So this is basically taking that URL value and passing it along to a file. And now when I come to my mail, I can attach a, get a, my from my HTTP, right? Here's my HTTP. My content is going to be the, um, data, I believe, right? If you have to map it. Yeah, okay, so if I map it, um, the file name will be from the file name, and the data will be the data, like that. And hit add, and okay. Uh, let's run this once again. Let's see what I get now. Email self, let's check my email, archive this. I should get a new email in just a moment. There it is, and look, I got an attachment. This is my VCF. My, my V card attachment. And if I click on this, um, I guess it's because it's in the Gmail. It's not registering, but if I was on my phone, I'd be able to download this VCF right to my contacts. All right, so uh, just using some, so this is just one simple way to use the webhook action in Glide. Um, and imagine this is not an email. Maybe you're sending your information to, uh, maybe you push the button and it gets shared to Facebook or it gets shared to Twitter or does a social share of some kind, right? Or uh, you're triggering an action that then does some sort of automation in your house. Who knows? Um, but some very cool things we can do now with webhooks and Glide. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at and as always, thanks for watching.